Welcome to the dream world. Where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi. On the dream line. Welcome to the dream world. And we are going in your dream interpretation dream line too. The first dream is coming from Florence. I'm Florence. Dear Pastor, help me understand this dream. I dreamt like I was seated in our sitting room while eating food. The woman wearing a long black dress with a gloomy face came wanting to take away my food and I fought her and she disappeared. Florence, food in the dream mostly means the word of God. And this woman who came trying to take your food away actually it's not trying he took your food away is the devil. So the meaning of your dream wherever you go to church wherever you go to the house of God pay attention to the word. Don't be looking at your phone don't be checking social media whatsapp and facebook because when you do so the lord is warning you in the dream someone is taking away your food and the food is the word of god remember when jesus was taken on the top of the mountain to be tempted of the devil the devil told him turn these stones into bread and Jesus told him yes, man shall not live by food alone but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God so food is the word of God and that woman who took it away is the devil it is a reminder every time the word of God is being preached pay attention mind business listen to the word otherwise the enemy always want to take it away the next dream is coming from Moses and Moses good evening pastor I always dream playing sex with a different woman not my girlfriend what does it mean it means that spirit of a dog dog spirit is a spirit of fornication have you ever seen the time in the year when the dog female dogs are supposed to be pregnant I don't know if you got dogs in your area but in Entebbe that that the months of dog pregnancy you really see the spirit of a dog so fight that spirit you can find nine ten dogs all swarming for one female when it slips down they all sleep there when it moves they all follow her when it diverts they all divert nine or ten that's why fornication is a spirit of a dog so my brother Moses you need to fight that fight that spirit and it will get out of you because you do not have to play sex with different women you are not even supposed to play sex with your girlfriend you are supposed to play sex with your wife so even turn that girlfriend into a wife tell her to take you to her parents she introduces you there then you bring her to church before the priest and she becomes officially a wife. Otherwise, you need to work on your sex life so much. Fasting and praying and seeking God and casting away the dog that dog spirit. The next dream is coming from Veronica. Well done, Pastor. I'm Veronica. I dreamt when there were there are two small and big snakes in our house, and the big one wanted to attack the baby girl I was holding. And when it fell, it beat me instead. My hand got swollen, and my dad told me not to touch anything because I would infect others. Pastor what does it mean? 
I've been telling you over and over and over again, listen to the dream interpretations, even when your dream is not interpreted. But anyway, interpretation of a snake is a spirit of witchcraft. Sorcery and wizardry. In the entire Bible, wherever you see snakes, even in the days of Moses, when he was put Putting down the snake, a stick has a, a stick and turns into a snake. Pharaoh called his wizards and witches. They also throw their sticks. And the sticks became snakes. And these men, one is called Jambres, another one is called uh, uh, jo Jens and Jambres, they were witch doctors. The Jens and Jambres were witches. So they brought snakes as witchcraft. Today's interpretation dreamline one dreamline two is full of scriptures and so witchcraft is attacking you fight that one through prayer through fasting through breaking through walking right with God snakes are representation of witchcraft the next dream is coming from Barbara praise the Lord pastor my name is Barbara, but Barbara, I have not told where you're coming from. Please, when you are sending a dream, you tell your name and where you're sending from. Barbara, to you get the job, where is it? To you get it in your new sins. I'm forgiving you one more time. Barbara Gamba, last night I dreamt three times when giving birth in the house, and after that, and after the person I was staying with advised me not to go in the hospital because. He had given birth normally, and my husband was not around. And after waking up, I was very tired. Yet the time of giving birth, yet my time of giving birth has not yet reached. Reached. Have. Yet my time of giving birth has not yet reached. Have failed to understand if it is a good dream or not. Barbara. Barbara. Your dream is a good dream. And it also has a scripture in the Bible. Which is Exodus chapter 1. In verse 19. When you read there. You shall find your dream. It says. Exodus 119. And the midwife said unto Pharaoh. Because the Hebrew women are known as the Egyptian women. For they are lively. And they already given birth by the time the midwives come to them. So your dream is about that interpretation. It is a good dream. And so when you see here, you say here that um, the hospital cause was given birth normally, but my husband was not around and after walking up, I was very tired, yet my time of giving birth has not yet reached. I have failed to understand. So the meaning here is your delivery is due. And uh, whether your husband is there or not, you will give birth. So what you need to pray for when you get such a dream is that nothing goes wrong. That you don't have to go to Caesarea section and theater. Because what you have just read here in verse 19, Pharaoh had commanded that every Hebrew woman giving birth the child should be killed. Especially if the midwives checks and the child is a boy. The midwives were supposed to kill these babies. But in verse 19 the Bible says the midwives said unto Pharaoh that the Hebrew women are not as Egyptian women. So I pray that you may be 
like Hebrew women. Not like Egyptians who go through Caesarean sections who give birth to dead kids. You may deliver normally and you may give birth to a healthy baby. But also your dream means productivity and progress. When you dream giving birth it is a sign of productivity and, and, and progress. So pray in that direction. The last dream on Dreamline 2 is coming from Lillian. Praise the Lord, Pastor Amrillian. I had a dream actually. My grandfather who passed on had died. Yes. My grandfather who passed on had died. The person who died, you dreamt when he's dying. So he's dying a second time. And they brought the news to us. My family, instead of crying and mourning, mourning people were singing and rejoicing. And the case they put, the dead body looked like one they used to carry money with. And also instead of some people who depended on him, worrying, still people see, still people see rejoicing, man of God. What could that dream mean? And the English is not very clear, but I've got the interpretation. Lillian, Lillian. you must disconnect yourself from those spirits. When you dream somebody who died and is dying again, it's not a good thing. Because Apostle Paul in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 says, we were appointed once to die. And after death is judgment. Scripture, dreams today about scripture. We were appointed once to die. You don't die twice. But you has died physically and has died in the dream. That simply means disconnect yourself from familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are spirits of the dead of the clan. That was the purpose why this man is coming back to give you, you inherit familiar spirits and then he dies again. And these familiar spirits only follow the bloodline. If you are not in their bloodline, they don't follow you. So Lillian, cast them out, fight them, chase them away because they are going to bring trouble in your life. Familiar spirits. They are spirits of the dead from your clan. They want to familiarize you so that they can cross on to another generation through you. Even to your children who shall give birth to. Stop them now in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the end of our dream interpretation. We are going to pray. And before we do so, we must give our offerings to the Lord. And the line to give our offering is 0759 Send your tithe. Send your offering. Send a pledge. Send a donation. Send a love offering to Pastor Mutebi. But I appreciate what I'm doing. Doing. And many of you don't know what you are missing. Every time I interpret this dream, using my own resources, my own funds, my only income, I'll continue to drain out from you. Begin to tap into the anointing of the man of God. And one of the ways to do that is to communicate with me and us with your finances. Anyone who loves must give. 
When God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. When I loved Justine, I was giving her some small gifts. Do you love the dream interpretation? Do you love the dream line? Do, do you love Pastor Mutebi? And you are not sending any financial support. That is not love. Prosperity comes through giving. So give now. 0759 Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every giver right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Prosper them. Increase them. Raise them higher in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Now I bring to you Florence and Moses and Veronica and Barbara and Lillian. I bring them to you in the name of Jesus. Fight for their lives. Every power of witchcraft, every power of sorcery, every wizardry, I command you lose their lives, their families, their loved ones in the name of Jesus. Familiar spirits. Get off God's people. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of death. Pack and God. In the name of Jesus. Lose the children of God. You don't have power over them. Every curse. Every omen. Every spell. I command you. Lose God's children. In the name of Jesus. Pack and God. Jesus' name. Spirits of the dead. Spirits of fear. Spirits of loneliness. Spirits of death. I command you. Lose these children. In the name of Jesus. Park and go. In the name of Jesus. I lose and release the anointing of God's blessing, God's protection, God's miracles, God's salvation. God's breakthrough to flow over your life in the name of Jesus. May my God empower you and strengthen you and protect you and guide you and lead you in victory in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Everybody profess and say, I receive it. I receive it. It is mine. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, this is your brother and friend, Aaron Mutebi, pastor of Entebbe Miracle Center Church, of the dream world, and on the dream line. Let's meet tomorrow. God bless you all. Welcome to the dream world where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi on the dream line.